I want to explain about the hormones that evolve during the spermatogenesis. There was four hormones that evolve during the spermatogenesis. The first one is GnRH, gonadotrophin releasing hormone, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormones, and testosterone. GnRH is secreted by the hypothalamus to stimulate the anterior pituitary glands. Okay, once the anterior pituitary gland is stimulated, it will secrete the LH and also FSH. So the role of the hormone is Follicle stimulating hormone that been secreted by the anterior pituitary glands will provide uh, will stimulate the sertoli cell. The functions of the uh, sertoli cell is to provide nutrients for development of spermatids into spermatozoa in the tubules during the spermatogenesis. And it will also secrete inhibin hormone to inhibit the FSH and also uh, inhibit the GnRH if the sperm is uh, enough to be produced. Instead of that, anterior pituitary glands also secreted the LH. LH will stimulate the leading cell to secrete the testosterone hormone. So the leading cell now promotes spermatogenesis and will also stimulate developments of primary and secondary sex characteristic. Now we go to the functions of the testosterone. Testosterone being secreted by the leading cell. The functions of the testosterone is to stimulate the spermatogenesis by stimulating growth and development of germinal epithelial cell to form sperm during spermatogenesis to form the primary sex characteristic. And a lytic cell, a testosterone, also stimulate the sertoli cell when they work with the FSH. It will also regulate the level of other hormones through negative feedback mechanism on hypothalamus and anterior pituitary glands. So, for this one, when the spermatogenesis uh, producing enough or more sperm, the testosterone will be um, responsible to undergo the negative feedback on the hypothalamus and also anterior pituitary glands. This negative feedback will stop the hypothalamus from uh, secretes the GnRH and at the same time where is, there is no uh, GnRH so anterior pituitary glands also will not be stimulated to produce these both hormones so that for the moment the process of spermatogenesis will be whole. The functions of inhibin Inhibin will be produced by the will be secreted by the sertoli cell when the spermatogenesis is too high. So inhibin will secreted to inhibit anterior pituitary glands from secreting FSH and slightly inhibit the hypothalamus from secreting GnRH. So the rate of spermatogenesis will become uh, normal. But 
if the rate of spermatogenesis is too low, inhibin will not be secreted and so that the FSH will be stimulated or been, uh, sorry, FSH will be uh, secreted by the anterior pituitary glands and the spermatogenesis begin. High level of testosterone will inhibit the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary glands. Why does the testosterone is high? When the LH is too high, it will stimulate the leading cell to produce more testosterone. But if the testosterone is too high, it will inhibit the GN GnRH RH, and also uh, sorry, will inhibit the hypothalamus from secrets GnRH and it will also inhibit the anterior pituitary, pituitary glands from secreting the FSS and LH. So, if you can see here, testosterone and inhibin will act to control the formations of sperm during spermatogenesis. If the sperm is too low, so the testos testosterone will be produced. Then, if the testosterone is too high, meaning that the spermatogenesis production is too high, so it will inhibit the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary glands from secrets the respective hormone then the sertoli cell will also secret the inhibin to inhibit the anterior pituitary glands and slightly on the hypothalamus to low down the formations of the sperm